So what we'll be seeking to this court is um, to order that um, the accused be generally assessed and the report be filed. We take plea and then we can converse on the day. Every day she is held in custody, extreme prejudice occurs. Extreme prejudice occurs. Bodies are found without her involvement. Witnesses are telling their stories to the media through the investigation, the investigators. Now, somebody wants to grab her matrimonial home. She needs to be out. She needs to be fighting for her rights in the civil forum. There is an ongoing divorce matter in which the property is central. It is law that as long as investigations are continuing, no one should have been charged. Now you can't charge somebody and say we are still carrying on with investigations. So I'm making, effectively, your ladyship, I am making and I'm pleading and I'm imploring the court to consider releasing the accused persons on bail at this stage <coughs> on any terms that the court considers appropriate. Any, and we mean any. Staying away from the alleged scene of recovery or crime, as long as she's given permission to help secure the place. Something happened yesterday. Uh, on Friday, after the body was supposedly found, the same Muiruri went and scared away her caretakers. They have run away. The, the house has been left abandoned. Except, of course, <coughs> in the hands of the police who are interested parties. So I'm saying that this year, investigators, the victims, prosecution, defense, uh, to desist uh, addressing the media on the investigations or evidence that are alleged to exist in this case and also the, the media is also prevented from publishing investigations into the matter. So I don't expect any address from me either of the parties who are here.